Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about the crossover episodes. Obviously, the first five episodes of Season 8 are going to be part of The Flash's Armageddon crossover event. Great title, by the way. And so, they have gone back to the set, and they've started filming up in Vancouver, and we've got guest stars galore in the set photos so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So it was just announced the other day there was a lot of information that was coming out in regards to the Flash's season 8 crossover event the five part special at the start of the season which will begin on November 16th on the CW at you know its normal time slot on a Tuesday after Supergirl finishes airing. And so they announced the entire cast, or at least main cast, of who's going to show up from the other shows. And so I didn't actually get time to cover it, or I didn't get time to cover the news about the big villain who has been officially confirmed as of right now. And we do have our first look at him in this video, because we're going to be going over some set photos from Canada Grass's Patreon. So please be sure to go over and follow Canada Grass on Twitter, you can follow his blog, and also you can subscribe to his Patreon for very little to get exclusive first looks at set photos from up in Vancouver. And so you're not going to want to miss out on that, so all the links in the description below. However, I didn't get time to make it because I'm currently away, I'm in Hungary, and I've been here for like the last four or five days and I'm actually going to Italy for like 10 more days so I'm not going to be back in England for quite a while however I'm going to do my best to make videos at least once every two days especially whilst in Italy and so this is just my first I'm still in Hungary as of right now but I'm going to be leaving so probably don't expect a video tomorrow because that is going to be my day where I'm traveling so yeah that is my kind of mini explanation for you guys but I know you guys aren't here for that, you're here for the news that we're going to be talking about. I'm just going to quickly go over the stuff that I missed, then we'll get onto the official set photos for the crossover event. And so, the cast members and the characters that were confirmed to actually show up in the Flash's Season 8 crossover, along with Team Flash, is, and it goes as follows. So, Javicia Leslie is going to be showing up as Batwoman. Cress Williams is going to be showing up as Black Lightning. Obviously, his show just ended, so it's good to see him back. We have Brandon Ralph as the Atom. We're going to talk more about him later. And we've got Kyla Lee as Sentinel, aka Alex Danvers. I think this is the most exciting one for me because Supergirl would have ended like a week or so before she actually appears on The Flash. And it's great to see that like one of the Supergirl cast members and potentially even more. I think Azzy Tesse may also show up in the episode as Kelly. I just have a theory because she is actually still around in Vancouver, or she was recently. So I've got, you know, a theory in mind in regards to her maybe showing up. But I'm very excited about Kyla Lee showing up as Alex in the crossover. So she's like the Supergirl representative on the show, essentially, with Supergirl not there. Also, Catherine McNamara is showing up as Mia Queen. That is exciting. Obviously, Green Arrow and the Canaries didn't go ahead. I kind of wasn't expecting her to ever show up again. So it is a nice surprise, even though she's not like everyone's favorite character. I think I did enjoy her quite a bit. Okay, so Osric Chow is returning as Ryan Choi. Sorry if I mispronounced his name. He hasn't been seen since Crisis on Infinite Earths ended. So it's quite a nice surprise to see him included. I've got a theory that potentially with Brandon Ralph showing up as the Atom as well, and as you guys know, Ryan Choi in the comics is also the Atom, so I'm pretty sure there is going to be some sort of passing of the mantle, and maybe Ryan Choi will be featured in one of the other shows sometime in the near future. Okay, so the final two people that were announced for the crossover event is Neil McDonough as Damien Dark and Tom Kavanagh as Eobard Thorne slash Reverse Flash. That is super exciting. We have official confirmation Tom Kavanagh's going back. He left the show, he came back for the finale, he directed Superman Lois's finale, and now he's back already. So I love the fact that he's saying that he's gone, but he is still around because he's just not a series regular. He's going to show up when he's needed, essentially. And 
it's super exciting because obviously Reverse Flash was set up in Season 7's finale and it's great to see him back. Damien Dark is a surprise, I did not expect to see him again, but another Arrow character and I think the more Arrow characters the better because it's been a while since we've had much Arrow related content apart from Diggle. Even though he was not very good in Season 4, he did actually kind of redeem himself a little bit in Legends of Tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, they officially announced the villain of the crossover. The official villain is Despero, and he's described as a powerful and intelligent alien possessing incredible powers who comes to Earth on a deadly mission, one whose outcome will decide the fate of humankind and put him in a collision course with Team Flash. And so in terms of his powers, he has the ability to fly, he can create force fields, energy projection, he's able to use telekinesis and telepathy, and so he's kind of more of a mind controlling villain which I think is very cool, he's obviously from outer space, and he has a very different physiology. Obviously, he's got the third eye that he has. He's got that kind of web fin at the top of his head. And it's really cool the way that he can use his third eye because he can project mental blasts from this eye. And overall, he's just a cool villain. He's faced off against the Justice League many times in the comics. And I think there is a lot to look forward with him. And I feel like he is definitely big enough to be a crossover villain. And from the way that he looks, I'm very excited to see how it's all going to go down. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Canada Grass's photos because we do have our first look at Despero and the rest of the cast. As I mentioned earlier, this is all coming from Canada Graphs. Up on his Patreon, he has a brief description of what happened during the filming. Just gonna read it out as of right now, and then we'll go into the photos. So the flash shot scenes today for episode 801 of their five-part crossover event, Armageddon. On set was Grant Gustin as The Flash, Brandon Ralph as The Atom, Candace Patton as Iris West Allen, Brandon McKnight as Chester P. Runk, and Tony Curran as Despero. So that was the new announcement that Despero was being played by Tony Curran. I don't know if I'm saying his name right or wrong. However, I'm excited for him showing up, I don't specifically know him as an actor per se, but I think, you know, whoever's going to do this is going to be pretty good because he's going to have to hold up for five episodes, so it seems like the CW and the Flash writers and Eric Wallace probably have a lot of faith in him, and so, yeah, they also included one cardboard cutout of a stand in the model they have for Despero for scenes where the actors had to know where to look. This may or may not be exactly how you look in the final product. So let's go ahead and talk about that. And so we see this photo right here. We have Tony and this is the actor who is playing Despero. And obviously this is in his human form. He does have dots all over his face, meaning that they are going to CGI over him. And they're just going to use his movements, like his body movements, as reference. That's what they normally do when they put dots all over people's faces. And so it seems like Despero is going to be a pretty big dude. Like, he is big in the comics, but here he looks even bigger. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So let's go ahead and flip on to the first look at Despero. So this is the first look at him. This is obviously just a cardboard cutout, and it's used as reference for the actors to look towards him. Obviously, you can see, like, on the left side of the screen, there's a guy in the background holding him up or something. And he is way smaller than Despero, so you can tell from this, he's going to be huge. Like, he's going to be a big physical threat, not just, like, a big threat in terms of powers. It looks like he's going to be even bigger, like, than the Anti-Monitor. The Anti-Monitor in Crisis just turned out to be, like, a normal human size, whereas in the comics, he was much bigger. So I'm very glad that they're going for someone bigger. Seems like Despero is going to be a CGI heavy character because they want to make him super threatening and bigger. I don't know if they're going to do a mix of using Tony or are they going to completely CGI over him like they did with Fuerza. So looking forward to seeing how that all looks but I think overall the design of him looks pretty good. Looks very comic book accurate. Obviously the facial expression is just like one that they've taken from maybe their concept art. This is definitely just concept art. However, it is cool to see it being used on the set as reference because that means that the actors are going to 
kind of look in the right direction because this is roughly how big the guy is gonna be and so yeah I mean he pretty much looks like he does in the comics obviously his face is being like slightly matched to Tony's I guess and that's the point of the dots on him but let's move on to the next photo and we have a photo of Barry and this is obviously Grant and he's been smashed into a Central City taxi you can see it's completely dented up and he's obviously in the middle of a fight with Despero and it seems like he is definitely going to need some extra help from not just Team Flash but someone like the Atom. So let's move on to that. Talking of the Atom, we have the first look at Brandon Ralph as the Atom. He is officially back, obviously he left Legends recently so it's really great to see him back at his roots. Obviously his roots is more related to Arrow, but still the Flash is heavily related and they've crossed over many times in the past. And you can see the photo of him and the Flash here, fully suited up as they try and take on Despero. And so it's just awesome to see him back, I'm very excited for that. Additionally, another photo of the Atom, we have Chester P. Runk here. Obviously Chester is a big deal right now because he is one of the new biggest characters on Team Flash and everyone really likes him right now. I particularly like him, I think he's a really good character. Seems like he's got a little bit of a different hairdo going on and obviously I think the Atom and him are going to be a good pair so I'm looking forward to that kind of dynamic that they are teasing in this photo. Okay so let's move on, we got a photo of Iris. It doesn't say much but we just know that she's going to be around during some of these fight scenes and I think she's just in her normal reporter wear, so yeah, that's about it for now. But let's move on to this photo. We got one of Grant in the costume. I think that is actually Tony in the background behind him. However, it's just exciting to see like Grant and the rest of the cast back as their characters and fully suited up, ready to go for the new season. Obviously, the season is going to begin in November with this episode that they're filming right now, so it's going to be huge these first five episodes. There's going to be so many characters showing up and it has to be mentioned that most of these characters are actually not on a currently running show. Most of them are from Supergirl which has already finished filming, Arrow which has ended, Black Lightning which is not going on, or someone like Ryan Choi who is not in a specific show, or someone like Brandon Ralph aka The Atom who has officially left Legends. But the only character that is currently on a main TV show like regularly is Batwoman. And so I'm looking forward to seeing Batwoman. And obviously there's a big kind of deal that has been made out of like Superman and Stargirl not showing up. Obviously Supergirl is a shame. However, what are you going to do about it? I'm very happy with the rest of this cast. Yes, it's a shame that Superman's not crossing over with The Flash. But they are busy filming Superman Lois. And I'm almost 100% sure they're going to cross over again sometime in the near future. But for now, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.